हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू प्राइस यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज स्कॉलरशिप एग्जाम स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ ऑनलाइन क्लास सब्जेक्ट इंटेलिजेंट टेस्ट एंड द टॉपिक इज कैलेंडर सो इन दिस वन वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सरसाइज 8.3 पॉइंट थ्री विच इज अवेलेबल इन अवर नवनीट डाइजेस्ट ऑन पेज नंबर टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो इन दिस वन द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज देयर द गर्ल चाइल्ड डे इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन फेल ऑन संडे so we know the girl child day means 3 january 2016 this is on a sunday what will be the day on the maharashtra day in that year maharashtra day means that is the first of the may in 2016 now 2016 we know that is the february lip uh, having the 29 days because that is a leap year 2016 so from this one to this one how many days that we have to calculate so from the 3rd january to the 1st of the may so for the january 31 total days minus this 3 so there are the 29 28 days and then february 29 we have to calculate because this is a leap year so these are the february 29 this is the january's remaining day then march 31 days then april 30 days and then may one day okay may is first we have to calculate so may one day we have to calculate then 8 plus 9 17 plus this 2 19 9 is a here and one carry so 2 plus 2 4 plus this 6 10 plus 1 1 1 9 If you divided 119 by seven weekdays, so seven ones are seven ones are here, and four balance 14, and seven 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 ones are 14. So means zero remaining day. Means the same this day will occur on first uh, of the May 2016. Means that is a Sunday, and this is given in option number one. Then question number two, 26th January 2012 was Thursday. So this. 26th January 2016. This is the Thursday. In which month of this year Wednesday occurs five times? So, so 31 minus this 26. So there are the five days. Means from the Thursday we have to add the five days. Means Friday is a one day. Saturday is a two. Then Sunday. Three Monday is the four and Tuesday is the fifth. So means first of the February on a and then we have to go for the one day of the February. So means after this one, first of the February of two thousand twelve is a on Wednesday. Means of this next day because he this is the first. Thirty uh, first of the January. So, February first is the two thousand twelve is the Wednesday. As we know, two thousand twelve is the leap year. Means this February having the twenty nine days. And if after division division of the by seven, we are getting the one as a remainder. Means in a February there are the five days uh, week. Five days occurs in a month. Okay. So this first day means this. Wednesday will be occur five times in this month, five times, and this first of the February means February month is given in option number one. Then question number three, the Teachers Day in the year two thousand thirteen. Now Teachers Day, as we know, Teachers Day on the fifth of the September, fifth September, two thousand thirteen. That is on a Thursday. Which weekday will did occur on Christmas in the year two thousand fourteen? So, Christmas is the twenty fifth of the December two thousand fourteen. So, from the fifth September two thousand thirteen, then we are going to calculate the fifth September two thousand fourteen first. Okay, and then we are going to calculate for the twenty fifth December two thousand fourteen. So. From here to here, one complete one year, but this is not a leap year. Okay, so additions of the one means this is on a Thursday plus one means Friday. Okay, then after from the Friday, 
September having 30 days minus this 5 so that is a uh, 25 days for the September then for the October October having the 31 days then November having the 30 days and then December's 25 days so after this addition 5 plus 5 10 plus 1 11 1 carry then 2 plus this 6 and then this 2 so 10 plus 1 11 so after this 11 111 if we divide by 7 7 ones are here 7 ones are 4 balance 41 so 41 cannot be means 7 5 is a 35 so means remainder is the 6 so 6 day we have to count after the friday means that is a thursday should be there so thursday will be there means after the friday 7 days will be the next friday and means the 6 day means that is a thursday so thursday will be on a 25th of december 2014 and thursday is given in option number 2 then question number uh, 4 Amar is elder to Akbar by 408 days. Okay, so this is Amar having the 405 days. Okay, additions by the Akbar. Okay, Akbar is smaller. Then, if Amar is born on Tuesday, Tuesday, so which day Akbar was born? Okay, so. 405 divided by 7 so 7 ones are 7 5 is 35 5 balance 55 so 7 7 is 49 and then 6 days has remaining means after this one we have to add or we have to count the 6 days because this is a uh, Amar's previous means born from the bonded this is the difference okay and we are going ahead okay we are not going backward okay so from this one the, he is born first and then akbar is born and the difference is this one so means this is first and this is later on so means this is a first amar's birth date so we have to go forward means we have to add this one so after the tuesday if you count next six days mean that will be the monday so monday is given in option number one then question number five Sri so Vankhede took a leave of 45 days leave of 45 days from the date 30th of the January 2016 Saturday this is on Saturday when will he join his duty again so on which day he will join now this is the 30th of the January so 31 minus this 30 so that is a one day year okay then this is the 2016 means leap year so February having the 29 days so 29 1 plus 1 this is the 30 so 45 minus 30 means that is the 15 days we have to count for the March okay so March having the 15th March so means that is a after this 45 if we add this one 45 days so we are getting the 15th of the march 2016 is the resuming day and for this one calculations of this day so 45 by this 7 so 7 ones and 7 6 of 42 so there are the three days are remaining means from the saturday three day we have to count so from the saturday next is the sunday one then monday second okay and then the tuesday means this is the third so this will be the tuesday okay so this is given in option number one then question number six 25th january 2016 was monday 26th january 2016 was monday what was the day on the children's day in the year 2014 so so children's day as we know that is the 14th of the november 2014 so 14th november is the children's day and the year 2014 so the day on this one we have to calculate so for this one 26 january 2016 to we have to go back to the 26th january 2015 so one day we have to go back means monday he is here so we have to minus one means that is a sunday on 26 january 
15 from here to back we have to go for the 14 days so we will go from this to this so from 14 november then for the november remaining days are the 30 minus this 14 so there are the 16 days so then december 31 days and then so december 31st days and the january is 26th from the 26th uh, we have to go back to the first means there are the 25 days okay so means because we are going back not we are going ahead that is very important so from the 26th we are going to back means this day we have to neglect okay so in a january there are the 25 days so this 25 so 6 plus 1 plus 5 this is the 12 so 1 here then 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 there are the 7 so 72 so if you divided 72 by 7 so 70 here 70 tens and two days balance means two days we have to go back so this is the sunday then saturday is the one then friday is a second so means we can say there is a friday okay so on 14th of november 2014 weekday is a friday and this friday is given in option number one then question number seven Piyush was born on Friday in the year 2011, 2011 Friday. Ketki was born on the same date and the month in the year 2015, 2015. What was the day when Ketki was born? So, from here to here, four years difference. Okay. So, 2011, then 2012. So, here to here additions of the then from 2012 to 2013 additions of the two because this is a leap year okay then 13 to 14 additions of the one and 14 to 15 additions of the one so one plus one plus this one three plus this two means five days we have to go forward so from friday first is the saturday sunday second third is the monday then fourth is the tuesday and fifth is the Wednesday. So Ketki was born on Wednesday, and Wednesday is given in option number one. Then question number eight: the date 7th February 2016, 7th February 2016, fell on Sunday. So this is fall on the Sunday. In which year will the same day will fall after this one? In option 2022, 2023, 2021 and 2024. So means from this year to the uh, next Sunday means uh, fall on the Sunday, next Sunday. Okay. So Sunday to Sunday, there are the additions of the seven because weekdays are the seven. So from this one, we have to count for the seven days. So this is a February 2016 means leap year. So for the 2017, we have to add 2, so this 2 already taken from the 7, so there are the 5 days remain, so 2017 to 2018, that is a 1, then 2018 to 2019, again additions of the 1, then 2019 to 2021, additions of the 1, so 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, okay, so 2 plus 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5, then again additions of the 1, so that is a 6, so that is a, no sorry, here 2020 is a leap year, so here additions of the 2, so means that is a 2021, so means that will be fall Sunday on 2021 because Sunday to Sunday 7 days has to take, so from this year to this year 2 days has to shift because this is leap year and this one also the leap year, so here also 2 days, so 2 plus 2, this is 4 plus 5, 6 and 7, so 7 days will be going forward correctly so means in a 2021 sunday will be there on 7th february so this 2021 is given in option number two then question number nine a leap year begin on tuesday in which year following this year does christmas fall on sunday New year begin means this is the first of the January. Now that is a Tuesday. So this is a Tuesday. So previous years 
Christmas, 25th December, also on the we have to calculate. So, 25th of the December in a previous year. So, that will be on the same Tuesday because if you find 25 to the 31 31st of the day so there are the six days and this is the seven day means the this is starting after 31st this is starting means seven days comes so means tuesday so we have to go back seven days so that is also the same 25 or we can say 25th december means christmas day which is also on a tuesday so this is the same so but in question asking now which year following this year does christmas following on a sunday so from the tuesday now this is a leap year okay so means this leap year means if we go back means 25th of the december so this year and then go back here so that is a tuesday so from this year to the previous years 25th of the december again we have to deduct one so that will be on a monday and from this 25th of the december Again, we have to go back means one day. So that will be on a Sunday means if this is a leap year starting of the leap year when this is a one, two and this is a three. So means leap years and then after this one, there is a three years ahead. Okay. So means in option means we can say leap year plus third year. Okay. So third year after this one leap year then third year after this leap year third year means we can say the if in option 2010 2010 is there so this 2010 before this one there are the leap year 2008 is there so this is the leap year and after this one there are the second year means second year the 2010 but second year this in this one the sun monday will come because we require the third day means 2000 11 will be the third day after this leap year means 2011 will be comes on a Sunday so 2011 is given 2012 is the leap year so this should not be and 2013 is after the leap year means first year okay after this one but we require the third year after this leap year and 2011 is the third year after this leap year so that's why 2000 11 is the correct one and this is given in option number 2 then question number uh, 10 on which day the golden jubilee of the school whose foundation day is 1st june 1976 will be celebrated so as we know golden jubilee means golden jubilee golden jubilee means that is the 50 year celebration or anniversary 50 years sorry 50 years anniversary so in this one we have to add the 50 years so this 50 years add so 6 plus 0 6 7 plus 5 so that is the 12 1 carry 9 plus 1 10 1 carry so this 2 and this month is the same and the first also the same means that is the 2026 uh, 1st Jan June. So that is given in option number 3. Now question number 11. Manda was born on Sunday 8th July 2007 was a Sunday. On which day will her second birthday will fall? So this is a born day. Then first day, first birthday will on 2008 so this is the first and the second will on 2009 but this is a leap year okay so here to here one day we have to add and here to here sorry here to here two days we have to add because february will comes before this one so two days we have to add because this is leap year and after this one one day we have to add so if this is a sunday means three day we have to go ahead so this sunday then monday then tuesday wednesday so one two and three so that will be wednesday and wednesday is given in option number four then question number 12 29th february 2016 was monday 29th 
फेब्रुवारी टू थाउजंड सिक्स्टीन दिस इज ऑन द मंडे विच वीक डे विल ऑकर फाइव टाइम्स इन द मंथ ऑफ मे ऑफ द सेम इयर सो एज वी नो मे हैविंग द थर्टी वन डेज सो थर्टी वन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन इफ यू टेक सो देर आर द थ्री रिमाइंडर मीन्स फर्स्ट सेकंड एंड द थर्ड दिस डेट्स दिस सेकंड एंड दिस फर्स्ट फर्स्ट सो दिस वीक डेज ओके ऑन दिस वीक डेज दैट विल बी काउंट एज अ फाइव डेज फाइव टर्म्स इन दैट पर्टिक्युलर मंथ सो सो वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट फर्स्ट मे दैट डे ओके सो फ्रॉम दिस वन ट्वेंटी नाइन फेब्रुवरी दैट इज द ट्वेंटी सिक्स आफ्टर दिस वन देर आर द थर्टी वन डे ऑफ द मार्च देन एप्रिल हैविंग द थर्टी डेज एंड देन फर्स्ट मार्च ओके सो वन प्लस वन टू एंड देन दिस सिक्स सो इफ डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन सो सेवन वन जा सेवन एट जा फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड देन आफ्टर दिस वन सिक्स डे इज अ रिमाइंडर सो फ्रॉम मंडे इफ यू गो फॉरवर्ड विथ एडिशन्स ऑफ द सिक्स वीक डे सो वी आर गेटिंग दिस संडे सो संडे ऑन दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ द मे सो मीन्स संडे एंड देन दिस मंडे एंड दिस ट्यूजडे बट इन ऑप्शन only sunday can be match monday and tuesday is not available means sunday is a correct answer and this is given in option number 1 then question number 13 in 2015 independence day was on sunday so means 15th of the august independence day 2015 on sunday on which day will the education day fall in the year 2016 so in 2016 education day now as we know education day means 11th of the november so this week day we have to find out so from 15th august to the 11th november that number of the days we have to calculate but before this one year is this one is the 16th and here is the 15 so first we will go for the 15th august 2016 so Here to here, additions of the one means if here the Sunday, so on this one Monday will be there. So from this to this, we have to go and we have to calculate the number of the days. So in the August months, there are the total eleven thirty first days minus this fifteen, so there are the sixteen days remain. Then September, there are the thirty days, and after this one October, there are the thirty one days, and the November having this eleven day. Okay, so. Six plus one plus one eight, then three plus three six, and plus these two eight, so eighty eight divided by two, sorry divided by seven, so seven one is a eighteen there seven two is a fourteen means four days are balanced means we have to go four days so Monday, then Tuesday, Wednesday, then Thursday, and then Friday. So one, two, three, and four. So this will be on Friday, and the Friday for question number thirteen. Uh, so here Friday uh, will not come. We have to take um, one mistake here. This is a leap year. We have count only one. We have to count here the two. Means this is not a Monday. This will be the Tuesday. Okay. So from Tuesday we have to count three. So Wednesday should be one. After this one, Thursday should be two, Friday should be three, and after the Sat uh, Saturday, uh, Friday there is a Saturday which is on a fourth. So means this is not a Friday, so that will be the this one will be the on Saturday. So Saturday is given in option number four because this is a 2016 is a leap year, and before the August there is a February month. Okay, so means in between this one. August 2015 to August 2026, there is a February 29 days. Okay, February. So that's why we have to add these two in a Sunday. Okay, we have make one mistake here. We have only counted one year. So that's why our mistake, our answer is something goes wrong. Okay. So now we have corrected. So Sunday plus two two days we have to add week days means that is a Tuesday, and after the Tuesday fourth day means that is a Saturday. So Saturday means option number four is the correct one. Then question number fourteen: uh, The year two thousand seventeen begins on Sunday. Begins on Sunday means the first January. 
having the Sunday. On which weekday will the year 2008, 2018, sorry, end? So means 31st of the December. Now, this is a 2017 January 1st. So means 31st December, January 2017, having the same day means this is also on Sunday. Okay, this is already one information in a lecture also we are same means the sun uh, years starting day and the year end day if non uh, leap year so that will be false on a same day so then next of this one is the first of the January 2018 so now 31st December 2016 17 to the 1st January 2018 means next day so Sunday's next day is a Monday so Monday is a 1st January 2018 and 2018 is not a leap year means this day and this day will fall on a same day means Monday will be on 31st December so Monday is given in option number then question number 15 Samir is older than Anaga by 132 days samir was born in the month march of the leap year thursday so march of the leap year on thursday what was the weekday on the anagas third birthday so after this one samir was born on the leap year on third day means 132 divided by 7 if you do so that is 7 ones are then 6 balance 62 7 eights are 56 so there are the 6 days or weekdays are the balance means we have to go forward so if Samir was born on Thursday so this Thursday so we have to go forward with additions of the 6 days in weekday means that is the on Wednesday Wednesday so Wednesday is a Anagha birth day. Anagha's birth day. But asking for Anagha's third birthday. So after this one, so we have to go forward with a three years. Okay. So this is on leap year means after this one. So first year, first year means so Anagha's uh, this birthday after this one. This is the first year, then second year, third year. So here no any leap, leap years, okay? Means one, two, three. So here additions of the one. So from Wednesday we have to count three days, okay? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So third year having the Saturday because there is a no any leap year. Already we uh, have seen this March okay see this march means birth um, uh, birth year is a leap year okay after this one the three years are there means there is no any leap year in this one means we have to add one day one day and one day means three days from the winner that means saturday should be there anagas third birth day so saturday is given in option number four then question number uh, 16 a leap year begins on tuesday so leap year begins on a tuesday means that is the first of the january which weekday will occur 53 times in this year so as we know 53 times weekdays occur in a, so this is a leap year means there are the 366 days so by dividing the 7 7 ones are 7 fives are then 16, 7, 2 is 14, and 16 minus 14, there are the two days is balance. Means first day is a Tuesday, and then Wednesday also be there. So Wednesday means second of the January. So these two days are comes 53 times. Okay. So because this all others are comes in 52 times, but these two days are extra. Means these two days are counted 53 times others are counted 52 times so tuesday wednesday this only so but in the options if you see monday wednesday is there thursday and sunday is there so means tuesday is not there but wednesday is there so wednesday will be the correct and this is given in option number two 
Then question number 17. In which year the month of February has 29 days? So in options 1900. So this is not a leap year because it has to be if suppose this year leap year then the after the division of the 400 there should be the quotient 0 but this is not a, it cannot be divided by 400 so that's why this is not a leap year then 1950 also cannot be divisible by 4 so this is not a leap year so option number 1 2 are not leap year then 1984 yes this can be divisible by 4 so 4 1 the 4 4 the 16 then 3 balance 38 is there then Four nines are thirty-six, so two balance twenty-four, and four six are twenty-four. So means complete division. So option number three, nineteen eighty-four, because two division last two digits also can be divisible by four. So that's why this is the leap year, and in this one the February having the twenty-nine days, and two thousand six this is not a leap year. So for option number four also incorrectly. So option number three is the correct one. Then. Question number 18. In which month a weekday does not occur five times? Now, option number 1, February 2003. Now, asking about weekday does not occur five times means if you know the 28 days have, can be divisible by 4 means there is a remainder 0 means in this one all the weekdays having only four times not five times that is the meaning means as per the question weekday does not occur five times means that should be the february month okay and that should be the 28 days means the year should not be leap year now 2003 is not a leap year okay not a leap year means this 28 days only in february month but if you count other means january in option number two april option number three and option number four september all having the more than 28 days okay means 30 days and 31 days so they have more than the five times week week days occurring but we require does not occur so means only the non leap year so this is a 2003 and this is a february which is given in option number one then question number 19 in a leap year lokmanya tirax death anniversary fall on sunday as we know lokmanya tirak's death anniversary is first of the august and which is fall on a sunday which weekday will occur on the independence day of the following year in the, in the uh, this is a leap year okay so in the next year so so in the next year means additions of the one that first of the August we have to go so in the next year means following wins that is the next year this is a leap year means this is a non leap year okay that is the meaning so only one we have to add so this is Sunday means this is on Monday from the first of August to Independence Day means 15th of the August 15th of the August so first of August if you add plus 7 so that is the 8th of the August that is a Monday and from this Monday if you add the 7th so that is the 15th of the August that is also on the Monday so 15th August also the Monday is there so Monday is given in option number 2 then question number 20 Rekha's second birthday was Saturday 25th July 2009 this is second birthday then on what day was she born so we have to go back means 2008 and 2007 but this is july so in this J july means 2008 25th okay so here july 2007 25th so in this one the leap year having this 2008 is a leap year means february having the 29 days so we have to deduct the two days or we have to go back two days and here go back with one day means if here on a means here the saturday so here the one day go back so here sunday so two days we have to deduct means monday and the tuesday also we have to go deduct and then wednesday will be 
on this 25th July. So that is the meaning. So Wednesday is in option number 3. Then question number 21. How many months in a year have 30 days each? So from the out of the 12 months, there are the 4 months are having the 30 days each. So that is uh, option number 1. Then question number 22. In 5th February of non-leap year falls on Monday. So this is the 5th February non-leap year. This is the Monday. Which weekday will fall on the 20th, 12th of the March? 12th of the March in the same year. Okay. So if this is a non-leap year means 5th of the March. 5th of the March is also the same Monday. Because this February having the 28 days and if you divide it by the 7, there is a zero remainder. Means February uh, months having those uh, date and the day having the same reflection in a March also. Okay. So then 5th to Monday. So if we are adding the 7, so 5 plus 7, there is a 12th. Means this Monday also on 12th of the March. So this is also on Monday because this is a 7th the day difference in this one 7 is there so monday means option number 4 is the correct one then question number 29 20th december of the of a month fall on wednesday which of the following weekday will occur four times in that month so if 20th december is there so we have to go back so we will go for the first of the december because december having the 31 days and after the division of the uh, divide by the seven we are getting the three as a balance so means first of the december second of the december and the third of the december okay so these are the in december months so having the so first december second december and the third december so weekday in this date having the r can can be comes in a five times okay so but in question asking four times so first we will calculate this one and other than this one will be comes on a four times so these are the five times then 20th is there so we, we have to direct by the seven so that is the 13th so and then go, go back with a minus seven so here also minus seven means that is the sixth okay so this is also wednesday this is also wednesday so from if 6 is on a Wednesday means go back with the 6 day means first is the first December is the if 6 Wednesday then uh, that will be Friday so first December will be on Friday okay suppose this is a Friday so this is a Friday then Saturday and this is a Sunday so this day are coming five days but in question asking about the four times uh, which will occur four times means after this one Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday this can becomes four times and this can become five times and out of this one only we have Monday in our options these are not in options and these are in options means friday saturday and sunday is there but these are five times comes means monday is a correct options available in option number four then question number 24 suppose a school open on 16th of the june 16th of the june and the first public holiday was declared after 63 working days so 63 day after this one which day after this holiday is the working day of the school so this 16th june is the school opening day so if suppose if we are divided by 7 to the 63 so 7 one the, and this 7 is a 9 so there is a remainder 0 suppose the school open on 16th of the june and first public holiday was declared after 63 63 working days which day after this holiday is the working day of the school means from this day we have to count 63 days so june having how many remain is there, remaining days so that is a june having 30 complete uh, june month have the 30 days minus this 16 so there are the 15 days remaining the so june having the 15 days then next is the july so july having the total 31 days so 15 plus 31 so 
that is a six and four so 46 days so then august so 63 minus 46 so there are the 17 so in august 17 days are there okay means we can say 17th 17th august august is the end of the holiday after this one so this is on a working day because there are the 63 working days okay and, and after this one the holiday occurs means this is a working day after this one holiday is there means that is the 18th of the august having the holiday okay that is the meaning and this is the holiday and after this one the working day means that it should be the 19th of the august that is the meaning again i am repeating in a question asking about the 16th of the june is the school open day after this one the first public holiday this first public holiday was declared after 63 working days means after 63 working days so this is also the 63 working this is also the working day okay and after this one the first public holiday means this is the first public holiday that is the meaning okay if suppose this is a holiday okay and uh, work, I means this is the first only first mention for first public holiday is there so means after this one the next day is the working day this is the working day and asking about the which day after this holiday is the working day so that will be the 19th of the august and 19th of the august is given in option number three then question number 25 first february of the year fall on tuesday so first february of the year falls on the tuesday which weekday occur on the first december of the last year so if suppose this is a tuesday then we will go back to the first of the january so as we know january having the 31 days after division by the seven there is the three remaining days means after this one we have to go back the three means tuesday so i will just mark out the all the weekdays so this is sunday monday tuesday then wednesday then thursday friday and then saturday so if suppose this is a tuesday so we have to go back three days means one two and three so that is a saturday on a first of the january so first of the january is a saturday so then and then Jan uh, so then we have to go back again first of the december so for december also having the 31 days after divide by the seven we are getting the three remaining days okay so again from this uh, saturday we have to go back three days so one two and three so wednesday there means on uh, first of the december there is a wednesday and this wednesday is given in option number one so the first december will of the last year will fall on the wednesday thank you